That right there should not look or be like that. I tried to fix it, and and that's what we're going to show. And that's what we're going to show you how to do. Off off of a log splitter. Uh, number on this is a number on this is a C Charlie dash three six, and uh, the detent is not working properly and holding and not locking the handle in position. So we're going to be repairing this today. If you like this sort of thing, if you would, consider going down there, clicking that subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and giving this video a thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of stuff. I'm not sponsored uh, by anybody, but I did just recently set up an Amazon affiliate link, so links are down in the description of some of the tools that I use and things uh, from people that's been asking. Not telling you you have to go buy it, but if you do, I'd appreciate it if you'd go check that out and consider purchasing it with one of the links down there that would help out the channel so I'd, I'd appreciate it again i don't care if you buy it or not but that option's there so we're gonna get into this okay like i said this is an energy valve um i'm gonna start off this this bracket does look loose i'm gonna start off by removing the handle so there's a uh there's a little cotter pin here take this out sit it to the side that will allow me to remove remove this pin here that's holding the, the handle to the spool pull that out handle falls down and on this, on this, the way this is mounted, this handle is towards the bottom of the valve. These are the feet for the valve. Uh, so this mounts to the cylinder in this, this mounts to the cylinder in this configuration. This mounts goes into the front port. So once that's loose, uh, leaves our Allen bolts there or our Allen screws. We'll take a 3 16 Allen wrench and take these out. Once those are loose, pull the bracket off of the spool or off of the valve set it to the side somebody looks like they've been in this before this looks like silicone possibly maybe not i'm not sure we'll find out though once we get into it now go to the back side and we will remove the uh, cap off of the uh, back end of the spool this houses the detent which is the issue with this one not detenting it's probably if i were to guess all gummed up maybe the ball bearings are war and the uh the sleeve for the detent might be war from excessive use so we'll remove these allen screws remove the cap and this is generally the case. This thing uh, is completely filthy, dirty, rusty. And right here is our problem, why this is not detenting. That main detent ball right there, this right here is just hanging out there. And that, that right there should not look or be like that. So somebody's probably been in this before and uh, tried to fix it and wasn't successful. And that's what we're going to show you how to do. So I'll clean this up and set it to the side, that main, that big ball bearing. I've got a magnetic tray over here. I set that on. Okay, so this here is what does our detenting. I take this off and there's usually four ball bearings around this. And then that big ball bearings usually set inside of these. And then uh, this thing clicks into position. It's got grooves in here for the smaller ball bearings to 
to lock into. That way, whenever you go to retract your cylinder, it locks in position and automatically moves back until it reaches a certain pressure and then it kicks it kicks the uh, spool back out of the detent position which locks it back to neutral I just put that back on there for now and you gotta pay attention to what way this comes out uh, because the the grooves are closer to this one end than they are the other all right I'll turn this around I'll go ahead and just push the spool out through the back and then I'll just pull the spool out like that uh, and you can see we've got a o-ring there that looks like it's cut as well and we're going to clean all this stuff up put new o-rings in this get it back uh, back in service okay flip it back to the front side there's this little retainer plate here we'll take and pop it out Just take and get that, get that to where it's loose enough and just pull that out, set it to the side. There's an O-ring with a backup in here. We'll go ahead and pull them out, set them to the side. Actually, I don't think these use backups. I think these are just O-rings. So we'll, we'll check into that because that could be wrong. Somebody may have been in this before. That's all for this portion. I'll set that valve body to the side there now for the spool we'll go ahead and remove the back end of that the detent and i'll take this o-ring off the bottom here good grief be careful on these spools these are square cut edges and they can be sharp and be careful not to damage this spool. This is a precision machined, very close tolerances inside that valve body. Okay, I'll remove this O-ring, set it to the side, then I'll remove that cover. And I need to get all the rest of these balls out of here. So, there's a total of four of them, so I'll get these all pushed out. And then there's a spring back in here. I gotta pull that out. This spring pushes on the big ball, which the big ball is supposed to sit in behind all this and not be out where it was. All right, I got my can of freeze off. I'm gonna spray some of this down. Again, not sponsored, but a link is down in the description if you decide you want any. Again, you don't have to buy any. I, I don't care one way or the other, uh, but just giving you that option. Okay, I'm going to take and spray some freeze off on this because it does work decent as a little cleaner. Take and wipe it off. And I'm gonna go take this to the wire wheel and clean up a bunch of this and even a wire brush if I got a, something small enough to get up in there. I'll be back. Okay, everything's cleaned up. I'm gonna go to the spool. I'm gonna get my uh, first O-ring, which is a, a two series. It's a number 211. And I'm going to take and put it over the spool and work it all the way down. Work it all the way down there. And then I will put it back into the valve body from the, the B side. This here's the B port right here take put some grease on this o-ring and then put it in from the b side take and push that up and then once it gets there push it in until it seats like that i'll flip it around i'll take uh, 
my o-ring and back up both the same size these are number 118s so they're a little smaller in the uh, profile I'll take slide it down over the spool press that o-ring in with my finger until until it starts to seat in to the housing then I'll take my back up and this is concaved on one side the concave faces towards the o-ring I'll push that down and do the same thing push that down in there until it goes kind of flush with uh, this housing because I don't want it sticking up or getting cut when I put the uh, retainer on okay we're flush there now we'll take the uh, retainer with the uh, little lip part facing down we're going to take and just sit this down on top like that then our handle goes back on the way we took it off and we'll take and snug that down and we'll take and rotate our handle around and put our pin back in and then we'll put our cutter cutter key back in once that's in we'll bend it back so now I'll turn it around to the back side we'll put the sleeve back on now this has a set two sets of grooves for the detent balls to lock into they're closer to this side than they are this side so the closest side um, the the grooves will be closer to the inside rather than the outside if that makes sense <clears throat> so you'll want to be sure they're oriented the right way or that's oriented the right way we'll take and put our spring in the center right here and we'll take some grease dab some grease in all of these ball bearing holes put the ball bearings in these small ones are 7 30 seconds Then the big one is a 7 16 It goes in the center. Okay, now this is going to be the hard part. Because this has to be pushed in and this has to be pushed on at the same time. Kind of. Because this has to get past the back side of these balls to lock it in position. So, over to the vise. What I like to do is get a heavy punch. And I'll take slide this collar over then i'll take the punch and push on the ball until it's past the smaller balls so i'll push and once it's passed far enough i'll take this and slide it up over and once it's on i release that then what that does is it puts that it puts that big ball in there past the little ones so once that's on i can take my end cap and i'll put it back on start my screws here and snug them down now whenever we operate this handle this way this is the splitting force splitting direction so it goes forward and then it springs center back to neutral and then when we're retract it after cutting that detent you could hear it locks in and then once it reaches pressure it kicks it out of position so this valve does what it's supposed to it locks in position right there like that that's how you repair or fix a detent and reseal an energy log splitter valve. 
If you got anything out of this, I'd appreciate it if you go down there, uh, click the subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Go down there in the comments, let me know anything that I can do or improve. And again, I have an Amazon affiliate links. Um, if there's anything for this valve, it'll be down there in the description. You don't have to buy anything, but if you do, I'd appreciate it if you go through one of the links. So that's going to be it for this. Until next time, thanks for watching.